Hey guys, App Orchard Thief here, and we're back on our survival let's play world. And today we're gonna get two goals completed. Well, one completed and one started. Um, and that's these two ones right here. Um, first we're gonna enchant because I don't want to go into the end and die with this much experience. So we're gonna use some of it. And once we have this up and running. Uh, with a lot of layers on it, we'll be able to get the XP back anyways, even if we do lose some and die somehow. But I'm planning on not dying. That's it. That's a goal of mine. So let's enchant first. So I'll break this. Boom. Um, and you may have noticed this little guy here in his chest. This is stuff I'm gonna bring to the end to help build, um, the... the Enderman farm, so... Yep, I was getting a bunch of snow because Enderman can't pick it up and it's really easy to get by doing that method. Which, if you guys don't know, then I just hope you do. <laughs> um, so I've got some books here to enchant. Um, I've got some bows to enchant. This only has sharpness 3, so I'm hoping one of these books has something else for a sword. And this has only unbreaking 3, so I want... I get another thing in the book to put on that. And I can use the anvil for that stuff. So let's get started. I brought my lapis. Um, oh yeah, one book at a time. So protection three. Okay, that's good. So we'll do that. Yeah, so we can put that on this now. And it would be pretty good. Let's try something else. That's sharpness three. Power two. Nope. Let's try something in here. Nope. Um... So I guess we'll just do, we could do another Sharpness 3 book, I guess, um, just for the he heck of it. There's another Feather Falling. Uh, let's check what's on the bow now. Power 3. Um, I already have a Power 3 bow, but this could possibly have something else, so let's go ahead and do it. Nope. Hmm. So I'm gonna go get my other bow and see if we can combine these two i don't know if they have to be full i don't think they do i think they just have to have the same enchantment on it and it will work out fine so let's see if that's true yep power four that's six let's see if it changes like this oh yeah four <laughs> we saved two levels so there we go um so we got a power four bow. Let's go ahead and do some more in here. Fortune three. Oh yes, that's what I want. Amazing. Yes, I this have two diamonds right now, so that's gonna help me out if I find any. Plus, I need to make a new pick to put it on. Ooh, silk touch. I don't have silk touch, do I? Sweet. Yes. So we have a silk touch and a fortune three book. Those are pretty good. Not good. Um, let's put a bow in. It's another power three, so... I guess we're kind of stuck right now. Let's just do something here. Uh, let's just do that. <laughs> Even though I'm not going to use that, probably. Power three. There's flame, so we could do flame. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a flame book. None of them are are doing double enchantments or whatever. Punch. Could get a punch bow and combine it. Um, but I'm not really sure I want a punch two bow because I don't really like it shooting them too far. So let's do punch one. Whoa. Okay, that gave us a lot of stuff. So let's try and combine these two and see what we get. Power four, unbreaking two, punch one. What if we switch these around? That costs way more. See, that's why I do that. Because one way costs much less sometimes. So, there we go. That's our new really good bow. Except, we can put flame on it though. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, it's the other way around. There we go. Now we have a pretty good bow. We have a couple levels left. We can enchant like two more times. And then... Uh, we're done. So, sharpness three. Uh, 
I guess we can just equip uh, this to this right now. And then enchant one more thing. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. I'm breaking three. Ooh, Aqua Affinity. Let's just do that and save it for now. And we could enchant more, one more thing, actually. Um, nah. I'll just do it some other time. We'll stick at 30 levels. We just used up four. I mean, 40, not four. Um, so let's go ahead and put this stuff away. I'll just put it in here. I'm not going to bring any of it. I don't want to lose it. So don't need this. Don't need that. I'll bring an iron shovel. This pickaxe should last. Um, I'll go ahead and get some water in a little bit before I go. But yeah, I'm just gonna load this stuff up in my inventory, sleep real quick, and head to the end portal. And I'll meet you guys there. So, see you in a bit. Quick on back tame, right? Now. Ow, 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 ow. Stay back, dude. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Oh, jeez. This is not good, guys. What the heck? Stay back, everyone. Oh my gosh. What's happening? Why are they getting aggroed on me? Oh my gosh. Oh jeez, this is close. Oh jeez, I'm almost dead. I have no idea what happened. I didn't even look at them, I swear. Oh hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> um, that was really close. Um, I'm scared right now. I'm very scared. As you may notice, um, I almost died there. That would kind of suck. Um, and they're still coming at me. I don't know what to do. Uh, I hope they just die. Should have brought a pumpkin. That's what I should have done. Um, but anyways, as you may notice, I uh, brought some different tools that I made, and I brought a full set of, I mean, not diamond, uh, iron armor, because I didn't want it to break, and I already went into that, um, and I started the path a little bit, okay, that guy's dead, I, I think that might have been all I'm, let's just eat, and pick up the water to see, anyone else want to fight, if so, come at me now, I swear I didn't look at you guys, you guys better not hit me off, because I'll be mad. Um, so, I made a little infinity pool right here. And down here, I, uh, I kind of made a little... Wait, is that guy trying to kill me? I guess I should kill him. He looks kind of dangerous. Oh, no. Oh, okay, good. I didn't want him to fall off because then he might just TP back. So come and get me, guy. I still want to fall off. Because then this will take a lot longer. Oh no. He fell off. It's not good. <laughs> um. Oh no. If they fall off, do they die? Oh. He died. Okay, I got two ender pearls. What the heck? Okay, that's weird. But that was a little bit of a weird intro. But I went over here, built out a little bit, and went down. What is this? I'm at 29 right now. And I went down to level 10, I think. Yep, 10, because once we get this out to about 200 blocks, um,. We're going to build the end farm. Well, not end farm, but enderman farm. Um, and then we will build it up, and we can just keep expanding it if, it's, if we save a lot of space by going down here. So, yeah. Um, basically, I'm going to use about three stacks of snow here, I think. So this will be one of them, and then I'll use two more. Um, but I'm gonna cut right now, and I'll come back when I am done with the path. And I guess I should probably light this up, so no Enderman spawn. But, see you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back, and I built out with the amount I said I would. 
and we can see this cool silhouette of the end island thingy majig. So here's our trail. I lit it up, and this is the end of it. So basically, what we have to do, I don't know why I placed that. Um, we have to make a platform at the end. So uh, let's go nine on each side of this. So it's gonna be nineteen in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll go out some, like that. And then go back, like this. And once we get here, we'll do nine on this side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So basically, we're just gonna make this little uh, platform at the end. And we're gonna expand it a little bit so we can kind of be careful on it. So I'm just gonna fill this in for now. Um, you didn't really have to fill in if you wanted to save resources, but I'm just gonna fill it in anyways. Whoops. Maybe I should <laughs> not fill it in, but it's pretty easy to get snow. And I guess I could have brought a pumpkin here if I needed more. That kind of would have been smart, but um, I'm going to expand the edges by one more. I think that should be good. One more. Yeah, on each side. So let's just go ahead and do that. Um, this may be a little bit boring, but... I guess this is kind of like a tutorial. I just wasted a snow block by throwing those. Because <laughs> I'm going to be showing you basically how to build this while doing my survival let's play. Whoops. Okay, don't throw those. I need to keep that snow block. So, now I just got to build this one. And then we can actually where they will be standing on and we can change the materials and colors of stuff later in the series but for now this is good so we're gonna build a 2 by um, 19 path here um, I think it's 19 let's see so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 um, that's 9, plus that, this one I counted, so it's 8. I need to go out to here, actually. So I need to do 9 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go. And let's fill this in. This is where the Endermen will fall onto and wait for me to kill them. Um, now for part where we have to build up. Um, I guess I'll just use snow for now. And before I go up, let's actually light this up. So we don't have any, any Endermen spawning around here. Even though we want them to. But not down here though. So we're going to have to build 43 blocks up from uh, right here. So this is the first block we count. Um, now we get some ladders. I'm actually going to expand this one more. And also put a bucket of water on the edge in case something bad happens. That'd be good. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go down. I'm gonna hurt myself a lot doing this. So I did eight so far. Why can't I place them? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I was at fourteen. I just can't forget these numbers. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. OK, 
Okay, I don't want to die. So I was at 21. Uh, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we're at 30. <laughs> oh, I forgot how to place these. So actually, I'm just going to count how many blocks are in my inventory. So I'm going to put 13 into here because that's all I have left. Okay, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Oh, I need more ladders. No. <laughs> I think I did 36. So let's go from there. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Okay. Uh, come on. No. There we go. Place these ladders. So I believe it's at this height where we build like the fall equalizer I don't know what to call it but basically it's gonna make it oh geez um so they all fall from the same height um I think this is how we build it so um so it's gonna go like this with a two wide gap all the way across we're basically putting that gap or not gap but that uh, dim those dimensions up here in between this like this and we're gonna build this and in the end we're gonna have buttons across here like so and then we're gonna have um, vines like that so the endermen will fall down oh geez i thought i was falling they'll fall down hit those and get here and they'll just drop off and the buttons are so those don't grow any longer and then they'll all fall from the same height no matter where they come from and hit that and be close to death so i'll be right back after i build this and i'll tell you if i change any of the positions on this so see you in a sec Hey guys, I'm back, and I, it's been a while. Um, I went back to the overworld, got some more snow because I ran out. I made a little snowman right there, and I put some of my stuff in the chest, and I finished this. And by the way, the button level is actually on the 43rd block. So I accidentally made it down one lower, but that goes on the 30, I mean 43rd block. And then I just built this up. Yeah, now we're ready for the actual building of the, I don't know what to call it, layer step. So basically, we have, we had 38 pistons, we're going to put 19 on each side, and um, I'll show you how. So this don't want to fall off here, basically we just line them up, back one from this and up one, so there's a... So they're on eye level compared to your character. Not an Enderman, but your character. So we just go 19 over. Then right here, we just put a snow block. And then we line the top of this with snow blocks like so. And I will show you what these are for at a later point. But I hope... I am hoping we have enough snow for this. Um, and then you can put snow across here. Like that. And back to here. And we can start these pistons, which are in the right spot. Basically what the concept is, Endermen spawn on these. Then this piston gets triggered by a tripwire and pushes them down here and then they fall. So that's the basic concept on how it will work. Now we just have to build it. Um, and I only have enough pistons right now for one layer. So this episode I'm going to have one layer done. If I actually finish it. Uh, which I'm hoping I do. 
but that's okay because we can build tons more in the future off camera because they take a while to build. Well, not once you get the hang of it, but when you're recording, it kind of does. So they can't spawn here, so we can this leave this like this and we can walk around. Because they cannot spawn on two block high, but they can spawn in here. So that's good. Um, the trip wires are going to be placed here. I think... I think there and here and on those ones as well um, I'm gonna replace this with snow with snow because uh, this is actually part of the build so go like that um, I might have to move the ladder over I guess but that's fine um, tripwire there, and tripwire over here. And I do not think I have enough string, or maybe I do. Actually, yeah, I do. So basically, we put string along here until it connects to the other tripwire, and then we're good. Um, yep, we want to hear that snap and it go down to make sure they connect. So let's just do this side, and it should be functional, except for the fact that we still need redstone to trigger the pistons. Okay, that one clicked. Um, so now for the redstone. Um, I'll go over here. Okay, good, that didn't push me off. That would suck. Um, hmm. Where should the ladder be? I guess it can still be right here. That's where it was, right? Yeah. So let's put some more ladders down without falling off. Like so. Now we have to jump down. <laughs> oh geez, that scared me. Um, and basically, we just put... What the heck? Oh yeah, I don't know why, but my texture is messed up. These are actually connected. But it just doesn't look like it. So it's kind of funny. I don't know why it's like that. Corner one's right. That shows that they're connected, I guess. <laughs> but this looks really funny. Um, basically, I think it should work now, but I'm not gonna test it because I'll be pushed off and die. Um, I don't think these have to connect necessarily. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So, that's basically one layer complete. Um, then for the next layer, I think we build on top of this. Oh, jeez. Oh, I scared myself so bad right there. Yeah, this is where the next layer will start. The Enderman will spawn on this layer of snow. I don't think I have enough, though. I can finish this side. And then, um, we this repeat the same thing, put the piston up here on this edge, and yeah, it should all work out. I'm not gonna jump down there again because it will push me down. I can't really show you guys unless I'm in creative, so this is gonna trust me that it works. I don't think I'm just trigger this, do they? Oh, they do. Okay, so I just do trigger it. Um, just for efficiency, well not early efficiency, but we can take those out, I think. Um, do we need this redstone is my question. Why is it only green? Yeah, so we do need this redstone. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it works. I didn't know items triggered trip wires. I wasn't sure about that. So, basically, I think I need to move this ladder over to build up more. But that's pretty much it for this episode of um, my Survival Let's Play series. I'm going to fall down here. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Um, but if you guys enjoyed, please leave a rating, comment, and subscribe for more content like this in my Let's Builds. Um, 
we'll soon have this done. Probably next episode I'll show you. But there one falls. Let's make sure he's one hit kill. Okay, yep, he is. So, see you guys. Bye.